皆さんこんにちは。TLS の佐藤愛です。TLS8 周年を記念して、英国ロイヤルバレエ団ソリストのベンジャミン・エラさんにインタビューをしているシリーズ第3弾。彼の自己紹介やどうやってバレエを始めたかなどという話は、他のビデオパート1と2でチェックしてください。パート3となるこのビデオでは、現役バレエダンサーに聞いてみたい7つの質問に答えてもらいました。Well, we're going to skip the introduction because everybody can see the other videos. And that other video will talk about how you start dancing. But my first question is why are you still dancing? <laughs> why am I still dancing? <laughs> yes. I, I everybody suppose... has that distinct beginning, yeah? But not everybody has that distinct reason of why you are keep doing it. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a good question. I suppose, you know, I'm 30 now, and I suppose I'm starting to, you know, question that properly、um, as, you know, how much longer do I want to do this? And, and,、uh, and what do I want? I, need, I should start thinking about what I want to do next and, and those kind of things. And, and as we said, you know, before, I, I am luckily interested in a lot of other things. I feel like I'm just connecting those dots.、Um, but I, I think, yeah, the, the reason I'm still dancing is, is,、uh, Of course, you know, there's nobody that likes ev- ev- everything, but we do have an amazing、mm. repertoire, you know,、um, and there's a lot of things that we do. And, and I mean, I have had so many incredible experiences on stage, and I'd love to have some more.、Um, while, while I still can, you know, every, every, company has, every company has their issues as well, and there's things that we need to work on. And,、um, but there are a lot of amazing things that I, You know, become, have become really passionate about. And the key with the Royal Ballet, one of the things that they're, they're kind of famous for is, you know,、uh, a lot of the, these kind of British ballets that we do or, or British choreographed ballets,、um, you know, and, and amazing story ballets, you know, that, that have,、uh, yeah, just really rich stories. And, and,、uh, and I think that's some of the best experiences I've had, you know, getting lost in these stories. and Mm-hmm. Also, actually, we now are doing a lot more contemporary ballets, modern, modern ballets that、uh, I've had incredible experiences in as well. And I, I, I used to hate contemporary. I thought, I don't want to do contemporary. Like, what, what is that?、Like? And、uh, in fact, some of the best experiences I've had on stage have been contemporary ballets.、Mm-hmm. Um, so, well, if I look at my career so far, often some of the things that I thought I really wanted to do, I was kind of like, Oh, maybe not. I'm not actually. And then some things that I thought, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, have been the most incredible experiences, you know?、Mm-hmm. So I suppose that's probably part of it. The, the fact that, oh, you know what? I don't actually, I clearly don't know、uh, everything,、um, kind of becoming interested in choreography.、Mm-hmm. That's kind of a two way thing. That's actually, I'm learning a lot about my, about other dancers by choreographing on them. And that, that helps me as a dancer myself、um, to see things from the other side. But also now looking at things with a bit of a different eye. And for example, watching choreographers choreograph, and、uh, I'm like, oh, I, there's so much to learn. I think the older you get, the more you realize you don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hungry to, to learn, learn more. Do you have a routine before you go onto stage? Yeah, I mean, it depends on the ballet.、Um, obviously, if it's, you know, it's, it's difficult and I don't really, I start getting ready quite early if I can. Sometimes we finish at 5 30 and the show's at 7 30. And if I'm doing like a difficult role and I, I really want to prepare, I hate, I hate, I need, to, I feel like I need more time, you know, because you need、What、to rest and recover. And the role? Recently, Solar Echo, which was, yeah, one of the best experiences I've, I've had.、Um, I'd kind of start getting ready quite early, you know. Do my hair, pro- you know, probably two, hour- two hours before or, or maybe even longer. Funnily enough, sometimes I'd be one of the last, I'd be one of the first to get ready and one of the last to be ready. <laughs>、um, but、uh, I don't know, that's just, yeah, I, I, I'm a, I take time.、Um, but, you know, I would,、um, you know, do my hair, do my makeup.、Um, And maybe even put some music on kind of to get me in the zone.、Um, and, and then, yeah, yeah put my, my earphones in and then, and then head to the studio and warm up. Yeah, it's kind of like an improv, improv warm up、um, where you're just becoming aware of your body and aware of the weight and the floor and everything.、Um, and yeah, listen to some like 
really cool beats that kind of get me hyped up. And uh, and obviously when it's a classical ballet, um, yeah, do a classical warm up, you know, mm. and little little bar and and maybe try some things. But I, I the different dancers have different routines. I, I tend not to try too many things before. Some dancers like mm. try a lot of things before. I'll only try a few things, um, and that's why you know the rehearsals are important. The main thing is just to be to be well warmed up. I do love a handstand. Federico does that as well. Federico Benelli, you know, he's mm. the principal. He loves a handstand before, and it, I don't know. He says something about like the blood rushing. Yeah, I, I don't know, but um, yeah, mm. everybody has their own routine, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you do to take care of yourself when you don't have a stage? Do you have routine for that too? We have a, the Royal Ballet has an interesting schedule. You know, some people, some, some companies do like rehearsal period shows, rehearsal period shows. With the Royal Ballet, it's like we have rehearsal period at the beginning of the season, like five weeks. And then we basically do shows, you know, like for most of the time up until like from, October until June, July programs overlap mm. so you're performing one or two things while you're rehearsing other things and then yeah so it's kind of it's kind of weird when we do have a night off it's like rest rest um but in, the, in the summer um I uh I suppose I do kind of get away from ballet but I do try to keep going to the gym and mm. and keep my fitness levels at least at a at a, an average kind of level but at the same time, while tr trying to recover, maybe do some ballet, but but not that much. Um, mm. But but it's important also at the same time not to do nothing, right? Mm. I think um, some people do that, but I think it's then yeah, it's it's difficult to to come back from that. It's not the whole reality. What advice would you give to young boy dancers or male dancers that might feel? Not really necessary, but feels a little bit um, out of place in ballet studios or because obviously more girls are there than the boys, right? What would you say to those kids that have to go through those? I mean, all ballet companies around the world are 50-50, mm. you know, um, men and women. May maybe maybe sometimes they can have a little bit more women than men, but, but pretty much 50-50. Um, you, so you realize like, actually, you know what, this is a great opportunity because there's less competition, you know, <laughs> I mean, you should pursue whatever pa you're passionate about because, um, what's, what's the point of living <laughs> if you, if you, if you, if you don't pursue what you're, you're passionate about, you, you need to look into it deeply and, and really go, oh, do I really want to do this? And, oh, is this a legitimate, um, job that I, that I can have and is this something that I'm passionate about and then really you can dismantle that argument and um and and uh more solidly support your um your your belief if somebody um thinks that men doing ballet isn't something um legitimate uh or should something that should be respected they should try it themselves <laughs> You know, they should try it themselves and uh, and they should come and see uh, the, the how hard, you know, male, da male dancers work. Yeah, they should try it. They should try it themselves. You mentioned <laughs> in the other videos that even though your parents are both a ballet dancer professionally, you had that thought of how ballet is for the girls and how that mindset changed or even if you can remember, because it was a long time ago, how did that form into your head, knowing that your parents' job was that? It's so easy to judge a book by its cover, right? Um, and I totally did. I thought, oh, yeah, yeah ballets for girls. Like, literally, I, I thought that as a, as a kid. Um, and I think these kind of statements just show that you have no idea what you're talking about, right? Like, you, you mm. I mean, this is one thing that I'm, that I'm learning you know, with, with everything, you, if you want to have an opinion about something, you better have done your research. Mm. But, but yeah, so I suppose what changed is that um, then I, then I experienced it. Right. And I realized like, Oh my God, this is really hard, but also this is so fun and this is so physical and, you know, and jumping and doing tricks and things and actually so masculine male ballet dancers are some of the strongest, mm. fittest athletes in the world. Um, plus they, you know, have to, 
be be good actors as well and uh i mean i i love physics and math but i don't know what i'm talking about so i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna comment on you know on on something i don't know about mm. you know i am not so good at makeup <laughs> And, uh, you've been in and, this game uh, for such a long time. You've been I putting makeup on every night. Do it. I, when we do a principal role, we get we always get the like professionals to do it for us, and I'm just like, oh, this is great. This is good. Um, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of makeup. If I didn't have to put makeup on, I wouldn't put makeup on. Um, <laughs> right? But but you know, we have bright lights and and, and all these things. So and, and there are people from quite a distance away. So it's it's probably good. It's a good idea, you know, for us to put on some. Uh, some makeup and actually when we when we do cinema live cinema relays when they film we mm. we, talk, we actually put less makeup um mm-hmm. because because obviously they, they zoom in so it doesn't need to be as much how did you learn the makeup i think i learned a bit from my like at school in in, in melbourne i can't remember if you kind of have to learn as you go you know you, we had a few lessons which which are necessary but i mean my first few years i was terrible and and the timing of it as well preparing and i just the panic was just unreal but but i think um you know you kind of have to watch other people and learn other people and just realize like that's okay like not even not even that it's okay but it's essential right like and that's fine like you're not going to know you're not going to be perfect from day one you're not going to know exactly the right things to do but there are older members of the company who you can ask or you can just watch and observe and, and learn and you know you just learn as you go yeah yeah how about hairs like do boys have hairstyles that have to follow in company or school because the girls in royal have to have french rolls yes it probably depends on the ballet right as well so if it's a ballet where you're kind of having your own hair it's oftentimes basically the style will be okay it's not a specific style as in which but it, it would be oh it has to be um it can move a bit but be kind of tidy right mm-hmm. and that will still be different for different people maybe or there's sometimes where it has they want it to be like slick back you know in a contemporary ballet maybe gel and slick back and no movement um so that's also different smash shoes problems <laughs> yeah i mean look if you don't wear socks If you just keep wearing the shoes without socks, they are going to get smelly. <laughs> like there's no way around it. Um, so wear socks if you can. Um, and stay, you know, you change those socks and wash those socks or whatever. And but at least the sweat is not getting into the shoes. Now, a secret that I hear is if they're really smelly, and but you still want to use them, chuck them in the freezer. Ew. Yeah, because apparent, apparently it basically kills the um, whatever it is, you know, the because like it's a kind of like a something. yeah, kind of like a fungus or something um, <laughs> that grows that grows. Uh, so, so yeah, apparently that's the secret. Is there anything else you want to tell to Japanese audience? First of all, Japanese dancers are just so amazing, and 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 they they are. Uh, In so many companies all around the world, and they're doing so well, and that's testament, I think, to the the passion and the drive, you know, and and, and that's that's amazing, you know. Like with all professions, uh, ballet's ballet's not for everyone, but mm-hmm. if you you if you love it and if you're really passionate about it, then no matter how many you know haters you have, how many people you kind of doubting you or Or going, oh, you know, but this isn't a proper career or a proper job. I mean, tell that to to all the successful Japanese ballet dancers around the world having careers, you know. Um, and if if you are passionate about it, you know, uh, but you have you have people not supporting you, question whether they um, they know what they're talking about. <laughs> Keep following kind of that instinct of 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 what you're interested in, and I think that's. That's beautiful. Well, think about the amount of people that don't know um, what they want to do, and that—that's—that's that's mm-hmm. normal part of life as well. You have you have moments where you're not sure, and that's fine. And I think when you really feel, you know, you question, is this what I really want to do? Is this what I, I really like? And you think, yeah, yeah, this is this is it. This feel this feels right. If it feels right, go with it. Go with it while you can. <laughs> beautiful, Ben. Thank you so much for your time today. <laughs> Thanks for having me. And enjoy your summer holiday there. I will. Thank you.